Finally guys, welcome to my house tour. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. I love you. So finally guys, we're getting to do a house tour of my bed sitter. So this is my bed sitter house tour. So when you come into my house, it is quite a small space. And it is, how is it called? Nikonda Refu. That is what I can say. So if you come into my space, this is the door that I don't like. I hate it. I hate the color. Let me show you guys what this is. This is how it looks. I hate the color. I don't like it. Yeah. If you come in, this is the door that lets you in. From the door, I have these gray curtains and white chairs that I got from Pamkunji. You can get curtains from Pamkunji or Sili. Many people prefer Pamkunji or Sili, but I prefer Pamkunji most especially Kama and Kudogo too. So I got these ones from Kamukunji. I think for in Kamukunji they usually say a they usually sell a pair and one share for three thousand. So the three one was over three thousand. I don't know what how the math is, and I think this one is one point two meters if I'm not wrong. Yeah, should be one point two meters. Yeah, should be one point two meters. So you require two meters to be a more. So that's all about my empty way. I have these beautiful curtains. I love grey so much. I also love white and I wanted this to just like hide the door to me going on and yeah the white vibe then at the corner here is my what do you call it my dustbin so this dustbin <coughs> this one looks you step on it and then it opens oops I don't have to see my trash it's full so that is how my dustbin looks it is quite small so I usually have to like get two trash bags every week and then on this side of my kitchen, we have a sink here, which is really nice. I love it. I love the shape. I love how it looks and everything. And up up next to my issue, there is like constant supply of water. So I really love this, this tub. I love it so, so much. And then the sink where I clean my utensils. And then on top of the sink, we have this cabinet where I place extra utensils. That's my extra blender. Ah, blender. Sorry, guys. That's my extra blender. It's spoiled, so that's why it's up there and I'm also not using it at the moment. I'll get it repaired. And then at the bottom here, I'm not going to show you guys inside, but I have extra utensils here. At the bottom here, I have my sufurias and my other blender. I will put a video of how Apachini looks. And then this other end of the bottom part, there is my gas cylinder. You can see the, the pipe, my gas cylinder and my trash bags and just extra things. This place is not for the this one is very organized. And then here is my utensils rack. I got this one. I don't remember very well, but I think I got it from Kamukunji. If not Kamukunji, then I got it from Jumia. Uh, this tray, I got it from Kamukunji. The board, I got it from Kamukunji. This one, I got it from an XUK shop. My utensils are all from Kamukunji. The silicone spoons, this one's here. I got them from Kamukunji. I think they're going for 1600 My kettle, I got it from Jumia. My spice jars, I got them from Shory of Food on TikTok. These containers, I got them from, hmm, I don't remember very well, but I think I checked the number of the person who sold them to me and put, the, put it in the description box. Sorry, I bought it from a lady on Facebook. The oil jars, I got them from Kamukunji. This white basket, I got them from Kamukunji. They all have different things. This one has my extra spices, extra shopping, my cleaners. This one has my cleaning products like the velvet stones. So yeah, then when this house, when I got into this house, it was initially gray. If you watched my vlogs from way back, you know how I've struggled with this kitchen. <laughs> it was gray. I wanted it to be white so bad. I tried putting on um, on the floor myself. I really flopped. We put a mattress for TikTok. And what was he did? They knew it came from me. They were UCD people. Please leave us alone. 
you and your CD that's live in your house with your OCD. I don't have to do things your way just because you have OCD. Now you're in my comment section shouting at me the way your OCD could never. No, I don't have OCD. I'm fine. I'm fine having this bubble. So don't bring your CD to me. So I got a professional to keep this one, to put this one up for me. And they did quite a nice job. Who could me to marry boy over time? Nagi so so but he did a great job. Of course, no one is perfect, but he did a great job. As you guys can see now, all my cabinets are wired and not gay. And then on this side, I have this car art here. Um, initially, if you've been watching my vlog and if you follow me on TikTok, you know that I'd put a dining setup here. So I put this art to complement the dining setup, which I got rid of. I got rid of. Ma, Sherman, Leo. Anyways. What I got rid of, but I just thought I could keep the art. And then this is my fridge. This is from Mika. This is my fridge. It is from Mika. Let me show you guys. The fridge is from Mika. This is how it looks. I don't know why the lighting this side is not okay. But this is my fridge. It is from Mika. This is how it looks. I'm going to show you guys inside, but I'm going to shoot a video for you guys very soon. A fridge cleaning and organization video. The fridge is 202 liters. It is a double door. It is no frost. It is energy saving. It is so nice. Then this microwave, I got it from... I got the, the, the fridge from Pasta Supermarket. I also got the... Uh, microwave from Pasta Supermarket. It is 23 liters. It is a flatbed. It doesn't have a turning whatever. It is touch screen. Uh, and then, hey, let me tell you guys, this microwave is so nice. When you want to put it on, you just tap up a start. You don't have to like set time, so you want two minutes or whatever. You just put it to start and then it is on. You don't have so much settings to do. I'll also do a review of the microwave in a different video and of the fridge in a different video and of my cooker in a different video. So this right here is my cooker. It is also from Mika. One thing about me, I love matching. This is the way we used to arrange things in our sets when you're in primary. And then you want to add blueprints here, reference here. That is why I love matching. I love matching so much. So all my kitchen appliances are from Mika. Except for my coffee and blender. This one is, I don't know the model number, guys. I don't know the model number, but it's just from Mika. Yeah. I'll do a review. I'll go Google and then I'll do a review of the cooker as well on this channel. So if you're not subscribed on this channel, guys, make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel so that you don't miss out on the goodies. Okay? Make sure you're subscribed. Okay, that is all about my kitchen. I'm gonna let you guys see the full view of my kitchen. It looks feathery and dread-like. I don't understand it actually. I don't know what it's called. Then there is this glass bowl that I... 
I got this one from Street Market and they bought two holder or whatever from Street Market. And then I got this last one from Street Market and this um what are they called pebbles from street market this is how they look they are they are really tiny they were very very tiny and then i had to pour water inside to give them life it's not a summer banta this is how they look so if they are dehydrated they dry if they get water they become full so right now they are reducing the size because i've not like filled this bowl with water for some time but I think there's still more water, so no need to fill it. I really love to play with them. They're like stress relievers to me. Because when you touch them, they feel... Mm -hmm. They feel like... They feel smell like very slippery. So yeah, I love them. And then this deco box, I got them from Street Market as well. This one is just an extension with a flip top, a charger, and the battery, whatever. Then in here, I had put my makeup. At the top, I have my makeup, skincare, and like lotion. Then here I have my sunglasses, my hair accessories. Here I have my cups, and then at the bottom I have my bags. Then from the uh, from the chest of drawers, we come to my entertainment area, which is just my TV area, because that's the only thing that I have at the moment. This TV is a 32 inch. It is a smart TV. I really use them more. I can't show the brand. So far, so good though. At the point when I was buying this TV, uh, six pounds so it's a brand or whatever. I was just fine at it. Just you know, the last it was free and it's not under my natural makeup. That's all I was going for. I was not looking for brand or whatever. But inshallah, we are manifesting a bigger screen. And this time around, we will look for a good brand. I'm not saying Smart TV is a bad brand, though. I mean, I've never like heard of it before. So yeah. And then on the TV stand, I have this Pampas brush, and this dress that I got from Street Market, of course. And then the TV stand, I got it from Inara. If you follow me on TikTok, you know Inara. I will put his number in the description box. He's such a good guy. The TV stand was five thousand. Very very affordable. Very. This is the most affordable thing in this house. Compared to other vendors with other prices, this is ridiculous. So, ranch now. This is just my Wi Fi router. Things are here for that. And then this dress here has this flash that I really love. I've fallen in love with the yellow of that. In my before I pray always. Uh, the compass brush, I also got them from Kamafunji. Same to the rest. And then down here, I just have the two drawers, which I have all my unnecessary stuff in there and then extensions every extension will be the end of me how do you guys hide your extensions i think i have to buy i have to buy like uh enclosed a full enclosed tv stand maybe because i really hate the wire situation i hate the router being here i hate the extensions being there i really hate everything about this right i don't like it then up next let me show you the next thing The next thing that I have after my TV stand is this mirror. This is the only place I could have placed this mirror, I guess. And it is a big mirror, a very, very big one. Uh -huh, it is a squared mirror. I also have an arch mirror, but I thought of getting putting it away for some time so that I can have this at the moment because I'm currently loving this vibe. I got this mirror from... um. A local vendor in Kasarani. I'll put his number uh, in the description box. Then I have this wall art here. This, 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 this like this wall art. I got it from a certain lady. I'll try to get her number. If I get it, I'll post for you guys so that you can go buy for yourselves. I really love this art. It's very unique. Unlike the art on my bed, this one is very unique. I've not seen it in any other house. It's just in this house. I love it so, so much. See so much. That's how it looks. It's my Mr. Carl. And if you're a cat mom, if you love cats, you should get this art. It's really beautiful. Look at it. And it's purple ink. It looks so, so beautiful. It's so girly. Yeah. That's me. Say what you want to say to me now. I want to wake up with you in the morning. Show me the fake to me now I wanna wake up
side of my house I have this couch it is quite a big couch considering it is 50 degrees small I really love this couch for the beginning but right now I don't love it as much I'll tell you guys why I don't love it in another video this is not a video to tell you guys that but I'll tell you guys why I'm not as much in love with it then on top of the couch there is this wall art that I got from Franco Walton I got the frames from him and then inside i just painted the art myself and yeah so if you want to just go on pinterest even you can go and go on pinterest uh get other art that i like and then i'll paint i'll print them and i'll put them inside there then on the couch let's go back to the couch i have this cool pillow that i got from Panic Kinky. i usually play with the cool pillow covers i really love the white one i play if you follow me if you've seen my other vlogs you have seen my other pillow cases, but I'm sure I'll just put videos here so that you can see the two other pillow cases that I usually have. These ones are actually my need to have. It just happens that I usually need to do when I just paint many times, and my other ones are just need. These ones are my need to have. I have one, some that I love. I'll just put a video here so that you guys can see. Uh, the couch is a five seater. It's grey. That's all about it. Then I have this Ames chairs. Uh, I don't know how to call it. Is this Ames or Ames? I got them from hmm, a certain lady on Facebook. I'll also put the number in the description box. These are just my pillows that I play with. Sometimes I put them here. Sometimes, sometimes I put them on the bed. Like, mm, I just play around with these pillows. I have three of these small pillows. And I thought I should not like uh, put so many pillows on the couch so that it wouldn't be bulky so i'll just like i play around with them sometimes on the bed sometimes here yeah then this one here is uh my coffee table that i got it i got i got it from a local food in kasarani i love white i don't know i don't know much say about this table i'll change it so you know i'll change it then this here is my sink uh my hand wash my what is this called? What is this called? Mouthwash. And then there is this basin here that I use. And then my toothbrush and toothpaste. This thing is so you show you. If you know about the vibes, about the glue. Because it, I had to use like the double sided tape several times for it to stick. And that's how bad I took control when I took it home. This one also goes to my washroom. I'm going to show you my washroom in a bit. My washroom is a bit small. So I don't think I'll fit inside. So I'll just do a video of it and then you guys can see in my washroom there is um what is it called a stand a chainmail truck that i got from also a certain lady on facebook i buy so many things on facebook by the way guys i buy so so many things on facebook so in case you want plugs of anything just let me know i look for the number i'm hoping i've sent all of them i look for the number and then i give you if i remember to i'll give you the number in the description box if the ones that i have i'll give you then your sealer i have this range in case someone asks so that's just much about it this is just how my house looks the kitchen the tv area the couch and then the other side of the bed which i'm about to show you guys and that is it
So on this side of the room, first of all are the center lights. This is the bulb for the church changes. I bought this bulb earlier for um what is it called for commercial use and then I thought it would look really good in this house. So it has like different um lights. It has one I don't know what that's called, but I love the white lights. I love the white commercial bulb. And this one here is my bed. I love the bed so much. This is a teddy bear that I got as a gift for my birthday. It matches the top of my bed. And I love that so much. I think it's really cute. The bed, I got it from a friend in Casaloni as well. I will share the number for you guys to go by if you want to. Then the wall art, the one of the black one, I got this one from Frame as well. This one I got from the same person who sold me the one for the uh, card. So if I get the number, I'll share with you guys. The couches I got them from Sunny as well. The pillow cases, all my bedding I got them from Sunny Kunji. The duvet, the pillow cases, the, the bed sheets, I all got. I got all of them from Sunny Kunji. So let's get all about my bedding. I really don't like my bedding. At the moment, I don't have a demand, but I want to invest in my bedding. So I'll be doing that with you guys. I'll be showing you guys what I'll be getting. I want to get as many duvet covers as possible. I don't want to have that my duvet effect. Nothing like this. So I'll get cases for laundry, and then I'll go get as many duvet covers as I can. I also want to invest in many many bed sheets and many many pill pillow cases. Yeah. And more today, I didn't like having small pillows around here, so I just wanted this vibe really chill, comfortable, and that's what I was going for today while I was making the bed. I didn't want so much going on here. And then from this side, I'm going to be showing you guys the other side of my room, which is the wardrobe and the shoe rack. I really don't love the wardrobe because it's very, very small, so I'm forced to like put our clothes that I'm only going to wear and then other clothes I store them in another place but I'm not going to show you guys right now so yeah so coming to this other side is my wardrobe and this is just a quick what I'm going to be wearing also like I don't have much clothes at the moment because I've added weight and I want the clothes that fit me and most of my clothes are dirty today so we have very little clothes here and then this here is my shoe rack Again, something I need to invest on shoes, guys. I don't have shoes at all. Like, I don't have shoes. So, one thing I'm going to invest on with you guys is shoes. And we'll start buying shoes with you guys. I'll see you soon. Start day work, guys. I said being that So, that's my shoe rack. And then on top of my shoe rack, there is an art. It's a doll. I love it so much. Got this one from Danko as well. And then yeah this is just how this corner looks like uh we have a balcony here i'll not show you the balcony today but i'll put a video over here of the balcony uh there's nothing much about the balcony it's just a, a tiny cute looking balcony i put a grass carpet on there and yeah so some of my soap here this to make up of a balcony that's why i'm not going to be showing you guys because it is more of full so I'll show you guys when it's empty during my cut so that you guys can see 
in the hour so when you talk about the shiva of the picture of Kinyava, if you want it please contact him the number will be in the description box make sure you contact him now and if you do tell him i sent you a bit of his house thank you so that is it about my house tour guys that's everything about my house tour i hope you liked it if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comment section and i'll be more than glad to answer like this video guys share and comment i love you guys i'll see you in another video bye to do when all I can is thinking about you not doing well don't know where you are cause you're not here it's been way too long if I could lay down beside you Beside you, I would.